to my channel i hope you guys are doing well um today i'm going to be reacting to um an emotional mother's day letter um thank you for the person that requested this video um i already know i'm gonna cry just from the title and what i'm assuming it's gonna be about obviously it's something to do with mothers and um yeah i already know i'm gonna cry like i can already feel it coming so let's go my mom would be at all my sporting events. Let's say I was playing football, okay? My mother would be on the sidelines, and if the play on the field started going one way, my mother would run along like, Mike, get him, get him! Oh I'd be like, oh my gosh. I'd get in the huddle with the other guys, they go, Mark, is that your mother? I go, no, I never saw her before in my life. Ah. <laughs> the greatest gift my mother ever gave me, she believed in me. I have overdosed on drugs on three occasions where I should have been dead. But I believe I was kept here for a reason. You show me your friends, I will show you your future. How do I know this? I hung out with losers and I became the biggest loser of them all because I gave up everything I dreamt about as a little boy because of who I chose to surround myself with. My friends would drive me home at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. We'd be drunk and high, laughing in the car. We pull up in front of my house in New York, they go, Mark, Mark, the light's on. I go, oh man, my mother's up. See, my mom wouldn't go to bed until she knew her son was still alive. I'd walk in, she'd say, hi Mark, how was your night? I go, it's good mom, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? I go, mom, I'm tired, I'm just gonna go to bed. She goes, Mark, I haven't seen you all day and all night. Can I please talk to you? I said, man, mm. just leave me alone. You bug me. I'd slam my bedroom door. I'm the one person. I I could never slam the door to Miss Victoria. Are you mad? Slam what? Slam who? Believe to me. I was on a worldwide tour when we were wrestling overseas in Japan. After my wrestling match, I went upstairs in my hotel room and I fell asleep. There was a knock at my door at 3 o'clock in the morning. I got out of bed, I looked through the safety window, and I could see it was a Japanese promoter. So I opened the door and said, Mark, you need to call home. There's been an emergency. I went and got on the hotel room phone. I called back to the United States and said, hey, what's going on? I said, Mark, I don't know how to tell you this. I said, just tell me what happened. Oh my God. All of a sudden I started crying. They go, Mark, I can't tell you. I said, just say it. I said, Mark, your mother died. I just threw the phone down. I ran out of my hotel room. I took the elevator to the lobby. When the doors opened up, I just ran out into the street. I mean, there was no cars, there was no people. It's three o'clock in the morning. And I walked down the middle of a street in Hiroshima, Japan. And I remember looking up and just saying, Mom, I am so sorry. I flew home for her funeral. And I was so nervous to walk up to her casket. So I just stood way in the back. And I kept looking from a distance, I kept thinking to myself, Mom, please wake up. Please get up. And then I finally got the nerve to walk up to her. And as I got closer, I could see my mom for the first time. I mean, she was so beautiful. She, she was dressed in white. I mean, she looked like an angel. And I just stood over and I said, Mom, you are my hero. Everything I am, everything I hoped to be was because of you. You loved me so much, you gave me a life. You're the only one that ever believed in me. How did I repay her? By getting drunk, by getting high, by getting stupid, by hanging out with losers, for what? All she ever wanted to do was talk to me. I wish I could talk to you now, Mom. I wish you could see what I'm doing. Why couldn't I have been a better son? We are defined by our choices. But if you surround yourself with people involved in drugs and alcohol and pills, it's a dead end. I'm not here to preach to you. I'm here to tell you I lived that life. It leads to broken hearts, broken relationships, broken dreams, and death. For what, to get high? If you have a mother or a father, when you go home, tell them how much you love them. See, my whole life was about 
being rich and famous. I had to be a millionaire. I had to win the race. I had to win the race to expense my marriage, my family, my friends for what? To be all alone in the world? I learned what is truly important, and that is how precious this gift of life is and our families and how quickly it can be taken away. See, I no longer live in time. I live in moments. See, it's not what's in your pocket that matters. It's what's in your heart that truly matters. Love, love is just a word until somebody comes along and gives it meaning. You, you're the meaning. That was sad. Um, that's really sad, like, on so many different levels, but um, a lot of people won't know this, but I've, I lost my mum a few years ago. Um, I'm not going to go into specifics because I'm really not trying to, like, cry, cry on camera, and that's not a story I'm willing to share with you guys. Well, not at the moment anyway like I'm not willing to open that kind of worms on camera so like no um so I know it's like to want to say things to your mom and you, you can't like you can't have that conversation um like when I first got monetized for my channel like I was so excited and I uh, um, I couldn't, um, I couldn't tell her, and like, it's little things, like, sometimes you just want to talk to your mum about stuff, and not being able to do that, it sucks, oh my god, I need to change the subject real quick, because I really don't want to cry, um, but yeah, um, if you are fortunate to have that relationship with your parents still or your parent i would definitely treasure it because like i said it sucks not being able to share the little things or the big things or just just to have that person just checking up on you because my mom used to check on me every day like it would be the same thing but it's just the fact that she would do that so um it does suck and um this year she uh well next year actually in october it will be her 50th so you know yeah not being able to celebrate her birthday with her and stuff like that and like i said it's a lot of things but that's a story for another day because that's that's a lot of emotional like unpacking to do and someone's messaging me sorry and to like give you the backstory about that but um this is really sad um i appreciate the person requesting this video however um i really really don't want to do any more of these videos regarding letters to moms um i'm not emotionally strong enough to handle handle this and it was only like five minutes um oh god and i'm gonna be sad for the rest of the, the afternoon um god uh, again i'm sorry i know it's supposed to make you cry but this is just bringing up a lot of things that i wasn't like, like i knew i was gonna record this and i prepared myself but i didn't realize exactly how much it was gonna dredge up 
now lost I actually feel not having my mom <sighs> I'm sorry guys oh here we go again um Thank you for watching this video. Uh, sorry, I couldn't keep it together towards the end. Um, I'm not going to do my usual like comment things because it doesn't fit with this video. Um. So, um. Until next time, guys, take care of yourself, make great decisions. Tell whoever you want that you love them. Let people know how you feel. Um, until next time, make great decisions. Bye.